Manakam, welcome back to Jalprayag. Let us uh, continue on the same MMD exam question paper uh, which we had done in the last two videos. So we had finished uh, problem number one and two. So I'm going to go for the last question in section A, which is number three. So let us have a look on that uh, question. It says a vessel observes Christianso Island main light bearing 270 fine nautical miles off at 2030. Find the course to steer to have Hano light four points on the port bow when it is 12 nautical miles off. Now, at 2230, that is two hours later, while on this course at a speed of 14 knots, the echo sounder recorded a sounding of 10 meter below the keel. Uh, the ship's draft is given and height of tide is given. This uh, find the following vessel's position at uh, 2230 and then set in rate of the current. Uh, something you should be careful in this uh, one uh, number third problem is even though engine speed was given as 12 knots in the top notes, please do not use it. Why? Because it is specifically uh, it's given in the question uh, as a speed of 14 knots. So please do not use 12 knots, otherwise the question will be wrong. So let us uh, look at this question. Uh, before uh, we start, let us break uh, the question into uh, pieces and let us see the concept. What concepts do we have? He has given me initial fix at 2030. That is given to me. Uh, the second part of the question is finding the CTS uh, to have a light at a particular angle at the bow and that too at a particular distance. Now, uh, this concept, uh, I have not made a video, so I'm going to show you in the uh, solution right now. We'll be making a small uh, triangle in the notebook before we start in the chart. So I'll show you that. He gives you a tidal depth equation, uh, data for that equation, which will help you to find your intermediate fix. That is how it is. Uh, and uh, finally, he asks you, uh, what is the set and rate? Basically, it is uh, actual current concept. So uh, he wants position at 20 to 30, which is your intermediate fix. That is what I mentioned. And then he wants the set and rate, which is your actual current. So let us start off. Uh, let us do one by one uh, each part of the question. Now, uh, the concepts which I have already made as videos, few of them will be helpful to you. So in case you want to go and clarify those, I'll just uh, quickly tell you what are uh, those in the playlist. Please go to the chart work running fix in the playlist. Uh, it will be titled as doubling of angle at the bow, which is number 29. And then you have uh, chart work CP and beam concept which is video uh, 30 and 31. So 29, 30 and 31 will help you in this question. Please have a look on this. Uh, it will guide you how to proceed with the problem. Now, uh, let us look at this question. Now, uh, initial fix was given. I'm not uh, too much bothered about it. The second part of the question, which I said, I want this Hano Lighthouse. Uh, when it is 12 miles off, I want him four points on the port bow. Okay, that is that is what the condition given to me. So what I have to do is, in these kind of questions, uh, please remember the initial part, there is no current. In these kind of questions, I'll form a small triangle in my notebook. I'll try to solve and get something. Let us see what I want to do. Uh, assume my vessel was uh, sailing on a course. Doesn't matter. Uh, here I'm showing as zero, 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 but that is not the idea. The idea is to create a triangle to satisfy a few conditions. So this is not the CTS. When we, once we plot on the chart, then only we'll get the CTS. Let, let us look at it. Assume this vessel was sailing in some course. Okay, some course I've shown you. And I want this Hano Lighthouse when I'm on this course, exactly four points on the port bow when it is 12 miles off. So what I'll do is I'm going to draw an arc of 12 miles off. I'm going to join this line and I'm going to sail the ship when the ship exactly comes here 
you will see that the hanolitis is 12 miles off. And when you compare with your bow, which is your fore and aft line, your heading, you will see this 45 degrees. This is what is the uh, condition is asking you. Now, how do I get it? I'm going to form a triangle. This triangle can be formed in multiple ways, but I'm going to suggest you one way, which is called your uh, CPA method. That is why I told you to watch that uh, chart work CPA beam concept. Now, let us see. Uh, now, consider this vessel is going on still further. It uh, comes here. Now, you can see that if I join a line, it is in a way that it is a beam. That means the Hano light is a beam to you. At the same time, this will be the closest point of approach. So, it is the CPA. So, I'm going to uh, mark this A, B, C. I'm going to look at this triangle. You can see that I don't know what is that CPA or the opposite side of the triangle. Why opposite? Because 45 degrees is the angle which I know. So, opposite side. So, I can form a trigonometric equation which is the easiest and simplest method. I suggest please go with it. So, let us see that. I can see sine 45 is opposite by hypotenuse. I know the hypotenuse which is 12 nautical miles away. I put it and I get an answer called 8.5. That means my CPA should be 8.5 to satisfy this particular condition of the question. That means from some point I'm traveling and I should have 45 degrees, 12 nautical miles at the same time. Okay, I'm going to use the CPA, which is opposite side, 8.5. Just as a, a small uh, extra bonus for you, I can do this by doubling of angle principle also, but I don't suggest it now. Why? Because uh, in this question, he has not given any relevance of uh, the angle. So I'll leave it. But uh, just to tell you that your alpha Charlie will be equal to Bravo Charlie also. Okay. Now, I've put the same diagram which I had done in the previous slide. I put it, you can see I've tilted. Why? Because this is how is the orientation of your, uh, uh, the first initial position and the Hano Lighthouse in this particular question. So that is the reason I've tilted. I told you I can draw this triangle in any orientation. I will still get the same answer. So I've changed the orientation. So this will match the actual uh, solution. Let's start with Pishan So light. Uh, he said uh, light is bearing 270 and 5 nautical miles. So I get my 2030 fix. Let me uh, show you this whole concept in a plain blank uh, PPT. And then I'll go to the chart. It's always easier. Now I'm putting that Hano light here. This is approximately uh, the orientation. Now what I'll do is I've already found out the CPA which I intend to get or which I should get to satisfy the condition. So that CPA is 8.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle or an arc with 8.5. I could, I could draw the circle, full circle also, but anyway, uh, on the western side, uh, more land is there. You won't be sailing. So that is why I've shown you on the eastern side. You can uh, find this logically on the chart also. Now I should draw a tangent from my 2030 fix to this particular circle. So you will see when I draw a tangent, this tangent will be 90 degree to the radius. And that spot is the tangent point, which is exactly the CPA point. So that is what uh, we have uh, used to get this uh, CTS. Now, this is the CTS actually. What you, found, what you have drawn right now is the CTS. And this is your first question. He's asking you to find the CTS. So you already found out. You can put your parallel ruler and find the close to steel. Now, the conditions which was given to me before I started the question, I'm going to prove you here also. That means the small triangle on the left-hand bottom, what I've drawn, or the center bottom, I'm going to show you there also. Okay. So again, I'll take 12 nautical miles, cut an arc. You need not do this in your exam. It is only to prove you that the triangle, what we have done is, this is the triangle, what you have done. It's to make you understand the concept. So there's no need for you to draw in the exam. All you, have, all you can do is, uh, draw the eight and a half mile circle, draw a tangent, find the CTS. You don't have to do this. Okay. Now you see here, 
if I sail the vessel from here on this course, when the vessel reaches here, it will be 12 miles, four point on the port bow, and the vessel, when it continues, you will reach your CPA or beam position. This, this was done on the paper as a small triangle before I started. So all I have done is proven that. So the first part of the question is over. Let us look at the second part of the question. He says at uh, two hours later, 22.30, he has given you a depth equation. So I'm going to just quickly write the depth equation. Draft plus UKC is equal to charter depth plus height of flight. Now let us put the data what we have here. So I want charter depth because that is how I can go to the chart. So eight was the draft, 10 was UKC and uh, minus one, why? Because I brought the height of tide on the other side. So I get 17 meters. Your job is to look at a spot sounding of 17 meters anywhere near your CTS. It could be on the western side, it could be on the eastern side, please find it. Somewhere in the middle, somewhere after two hours. So that is also a clue for you. So you, you should not uh, get confused if you have multiple uh, 17 meters. You, you should look at the two hour uh, interval also. You know you did 14, uh, 14 knots. So you can go and find somewhere approximately. And when you do it, you get a spot here. Somewhere here on the western side, you get a spot. Which clearly means that this was the position for you at 22.30. You were not on your track. You were not on your track. You thought you were on the track, but you were not. Okay. My job is to find why. And that is what we... Uh, use the concept of actual current. Your actual current, please remember, just says your actual current is dr to fix. So what I did was I plotted my dr for the same two hours and I have a fix for the same two hours so I can join them. So this blue color line is the current for two hours. Okay. So this, please remember, this is the current for two hours because the total duration is two hours. I can join uh, initial fix to this 20 to 30 fix. That will give me a CMG, even though it has not been asked in the question, but I still am showing you because it completes a chart work triangle. So this is how the whole triangle was done. I'm going to show you the full question played on the chart. So let us start with Christian Solite. I have pointed on the Christian Solite Island. It talks about the main light. So I'm going to draw uh, bearing 270, mark it 5 nautical miles. This gives me 2030 fix. We already done the concept. So I'm going to go to Hano light. This is your Hano light. I'm going to take eight and a half miles as a radius and draw a circle. This is what I do. Now I join my 2030 fix, make it tangent to that circle. Please take the parallel ruler, find the CTS, you got the first answer. This is your CTS. Okay. And to prove you uh, our concept, if you come exactly 12 miles off, you will see the angle will be 45 degrees, which is your four points on the fourth point. This is the first part of the question. Let us look at the second part of the question, which dealt with your depth equation. If you look this is a sounding spot of 17 meters. I've marked with the circle. And this actually is your 2230 fix. Now I will draw the DR for 2230. This is your DR for 2230. Please join DR to the fix. That gives you the current. I'm joining uh, the CMG, which is your 2030 fix to 2230 fix for two hours. So please find uh, the actual current, which is for two hours. And he's asking you the rate, so convert it for one hour. So this is your actual current. Now please look at the symbols. Symbols are important. Please do not skip symbols in your chart work. Please put it. Uh, the place for actual current was very small, but uh, you, you people can draw with a pencil. Uh, you need not put a triangle. You can just put an arrow. That should be enough. Uh, so three arrows for the current. I'm going to show you uh, the answers for this. The CTS was calculated as or found out in the chart as 349 degrees. Even though it is not required, I'm just giving you the CMG also, it is not required. Then the actual current was found out as 295 and the rate is coming to 
which obviously means that when you measured it from the DR to fix on the chart, it would have been 2.8, which is for two hours. So that is a drift for two hours. Okay. The sounding spot, you can measure exactly the center of that 17 meters. The fix is coming as this. So this is your answer. So this problem is also uh, done. So we have basically uh, finished all the three questions of part A and uh, my aim was to complete one question paper so that uh, before you go for the exam, which I feel it is uh, just a couple of days on the 10th or 11th of uh, July this month. Uh, I hope uh, all the candidates who are going for the exam might uh, have some uh, good uh, conceptual ideas based on these three questions. So uh, I hope uh, you got benefited. Uh, and if yes, please keep watching Jal Prayag and I'll catch you soon with something new. Manakam, Namaste, Namaskar.